kickoff out of the end zone, out on the 25-yard line, remember, and not the 20. That's a rule change. And so here comes the junior quarterback from Mobile, Alabama, A.J. McCarrick. Cody Mandel set the punt. Drives it. It's a beautiful punt. Fair catch at the 21. Terrific punt by Mandel. And so now the electric one after that 52 yard punt. Gallon's your motion receiver for the Wolverines. Again putting it up. And again, Devin Smith complete. Hopkins is the lead fullback. Power eye. Vincent Smith, the veteran running back. Battles for the first down. And here Herbie is a third and 11. A tough way to go for the Wolverines. Denard stays in the pocket. Now he'll scramble out. There is a penalty flag. Denard is short of the first down. If it was taken off by a face Personal mask. Personal foul. Face mask. Offense number 77. Good call, Brent. The left tackle, penalty. Taylor Lewan, Repeat just down. setting up in pass protection. Got his hands up too high against Hubbard. So let's see here. Jones is back deep, and this time a beautiful punt over Jones's head to the 15-yard line. And a return to the 38-yard line where he's met. In the next play, he threw a touchdown after a, a fake field goal. Lacey the running back, and a much better result as they start the second series here, Herbie, than the first series. Kelly Johnson is now the H-back on the field. They continue to run Lacey, and he extends for the first down near midfield. Coming into this game, I think everybody, even though Trent Richardson's no longer in the lineup. Play fake to him. McCarron on the roll, throws complete to the 43-yard line, and that was to Kenny Bell. Penalty flag on the play. The line judge quickly threw it on the false start. So this will be against Alabama. Full start. Offense number 89. Five-yard penalty. Second down. There's Barrett Jones, the out and trophy winner. His third position as a starter of that offensive line. McCarron again play action. Coming back again. And Bell. And they go right back to the same spot. Raymond Taylor has had a couple of plays in that secondary. And here is Yeldon, the freshman, look out to the 15 and a first and 10 Bama from Daphne, Alabama, right outside Mobile. Coming to the right side, patient, picks his way, and he's to the nine. Yeldon, middle, Jones blows it open, and he's to the five-yard line. Going to throw for it. Got it. Touchdown. They go to the big tight end. Michael Williams with the first touchdown of this game. Christian Jones, remember, he was driven back by Hogrup on that first punt. Fields this one on the 22-yard line. Looking for a seam, and he is brought down at the 33-yard line. Fowler is now the running back behind McCarron. And he'll run the big fella. He breaks the daylight. Out to midfield. And so they'll keep Fowler in that high-back spot. May continue to throw on first down. Sideline, got him open. DeAndre White, touchdown, Bama. 51 yards, and folks, the tide rolling early. Vincent Smith back in as the running back. Quick screen to the outside, and Gallon's first catch to the 32. So they went to Jeremy Gallon. Can the running back beat us? Can the wide receiver beat us? Number 16 cannot beat us, so they built their whole plan to stop him. Rawls back in, bangs for the first down. He's beaten Saban a couple of times, but he had Auburn's offensive personnel. 
Nothing to it again, and there is a penalty flag thrown late. Holding offense number 77. That is Taylor Lewan with his hands full. And right now, this Bama defense is doing an outstanding job of having an impact on Denard Robinson feeling comfortable in the pocket. Going down the right sideline, the receiver, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 45 by Milner. 40, 35, 30, Milner breaks the daylight. Shoulder injury here in the first quarter against Bama after an interception. Fowler, the running back, picks it his way. And let's go quickly now to Heather Cox. And Eddie Lacy checks in as the Bama running back. Touchdown, Alabama. Throws, Gallon complete, Gallon to the 35-yard line. <laughs> Bernard trying to run for it, battles for the first down. Hargrove punting again. And Jones will field this one at about the 18-yard line. Jones still battling now to the 33-yard line. Greg Esslinger in 2005 from Minnesota has won both the Outland and the Remington the same year. And here comes the freshman Yeldon breaking the tackle. First down, running to daylight, midfield, 40, 35, 30, stumbles. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. What do we have here? This guy is not just fast, he's going to run through those arm tackles. From the pistol, there's a penalty flag. They threw the quick screen to the freshman Amari Cooper, who we've been waiting to see, number nine. The left guard. He's from Northwestern Five High in Miami. First down. T.J. Yeldon checks back in. He's a good receiver. Here he comes, screen pass down the sideline. Got an alley. And he's to the eight-yard line. Thomas Gordon makes the stop for the Wolverines. <laughs> A.J. ran a fake field goal for a touchdown against Arkansas, but Nick would like to take a look at his field goal team this year. 24-0. Bama in complete command of this Cowboy Classic. A redshirt freshman from Detroit. Standing back on the Wolverine two-yard line. Two yards deep, he's coming out. Got a seam. 30, 35, I think I saw a penalty flag. Let's check it though for a second. Being coached up on the sideline here by Brady turn. Hoke. Walk in the back, receiving team, number 15. Let's take a game. look at the Pacific Life game summary. Here comes great field position again, you would figure. Christian Jones standing back on the Bama 40. Under great pressure. Hogrub hangs it high, and here comes Jones. Close to midfield. Again, look at the field position, starting right around midfield. Out of way. Ask him if he's not the starter. Best Stir up that quarterback controversy <laughs> in a big ass. Best of luck with that. <laughs> Here's Gallon. Going to be down inside. Remember, the ball's the thing. And it was down. How <laughs> about Sanseri? One of the starting safeties. The uh, bonus question. Oh, I got a bonus question for you on that game. Here we go now. On third down and nine. Into the middle. Intercepted. Picked off. Touchdown, C.J. Mosley. Remember, he picked Jefferson in the BCS championship game. Second down. Seven yards to go. Denard is back again to pass. Gonna throw it deep, got Gallon open, put it in his hands. Gallon toward the end zone, just short of it. Down at the one yard line, Sanceri finally bringing him down, but it's a 71 yard gain and a little bit of Robinson magic here. Roy Roundtree, very quiet, is off to the left of the formation. Denard picks his way, cuts back. 
toward the end zone waiting for the signal. Touchdown Michigan. Great draw play. Lacey upended at the 35 yard line by Kovacs again but close to that first down spot. Here's McCarron. Pockets clean. Snaps it off. They stop the clock back to Norwood. What an efficient looking offense with A.J. McCarron. You mentioned the Heisman Trophy in Matt Barkley. But he was good last year but now he just looks like a guy who see he's seeing everything. Steps out to the left. Lacey, they're going to have to get a timeout quickly or he's going to run the clock out. Fumble! Michigan, Michigan had, I believe, that was Taylor. Raymond Taylor, yes, he recovered it. It was either an ear, ear, ear pad or a mouthpiece when flying. There is no foul on the play. The block in question has been deemed legal. That's the end of the first half. And I'm sure the play, the block that I was talking about is probably the play they were in question. Watch, there's 25. Clean hit. Mouthpiece flies out. That's a receiver matched up against a middle linebacker. So A.J. McCarron and the defending national champion Alabama Crimson Tide roll into the locker room. Blitz fires off of it to that spot. Great pickup by Denard Robinson and Dilio makes it out to the 40-yard line. They stack three to the right. And Denard runs out of it, but he is short of the first down as Bama comes up. He's been a good punter here tonight. Hangs it high. There's a fair catch. He's going to let this one go and hope it goes to the end zone. And it is in. Two great uh, choices there with the Missouri first SEC game and AM's first SEC game. Bama with a completion. And Norwood breaks away and turns it into a huge gain. What a great run. There's a handoff to Yeldon, the freshman, and he crosses midfield. Well, Herbie, let's Try. see. We gave you two yep. SEC openers. So there we are. Florida, Texas A&M, 330 Eastern on ESPN. Here's Yeldon, the freshman. He was spectacular in the first half. He is just one step away, folks, every time. And Herbie Warmack, he played on two BCS championship teams, as did Barrett Jones, who's snapping the ball. Anthony Steen, Fluker, and Quanjo are the tackles on this line. Oh, McCarron sacked for the first time, and it was big Will Campbell. Third and 22 for Bama. Here comes the blitz. Snaps it off complete, breaking the tackle, and that's Amari Cooper. The freshman from Miami's Northwestern High School, and he could have a tremendous future. Herbie Foster is going to try a long field goal. He, he's the long man now for uh, the Crimson Tide. And that's a 52-yarder. Slips to the left. Plenty of distance. Putting old Waylon Jennings <laughs> tunes on. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a handoff down to one of the big fellas, Rawls. And let's check in down below with Heather. Trying to mount something, trying to keep this offensive line holding up. Denard takes off, slips, reaching for the first down. And uh, this one's going to be close. What is 71 yards of the 158 total on one play? One play. His quarterback draw. Here comes number 16, looking for daylight. And he's got some speed. So he finally danced and got outside. And that allows me to bring up the story that I've been waiting to bring up all night. I'm sure Bama's going to keep an eye on 16 if he tries to keep it himself. They're going to run the option. Pitch it. Here's Rawls. Can he get there? No, because Sinceri unloads on the running back. Number three did his job. He had the pitch man, Herbie. Fourth and three. Smith's your running back. Michigan to go for it. Fumble. Fumble and snap. Takes off. Broken play. Going to go outside. Reaches for it. And they're going to down it and give him the first down, I believe. They yes, sure they are. are. Well, first things first. Denard Robinson moments ago was being helped off the field because of the injury. And then 
instant replay turned the fourth down run over. And Herbie, tell everybody why. Well, watch his right elbow as he extends. If it's the front of his elbow, he's okay. It's the back of his elbow. And therefore, they called him down right there. Replay called him down there. Looking for a 100-yard gain in his first appearance. Burst to the 40-yard line. Yeldon needs six more yards for 100. Get battling for it. I believe he has it right now. This would be a 51-yard attempt. Bangs it. Got the distance. Got it. Well, there's the trophy they're all playing for. The coach's trophy presented by Dr. Pepper. It'll be given to the winner of the 2013 Discover BCS Championship down in Miami. Northfleet has been busy. This time from the three-yard line. Slammed down at the 12. How good is this defense? We're going to find out in two weeks when they play Tyler Wilson in Arkansas. Second down. Incomplete. And it a late, late hit on Denard by, looks like, Nico Johnson. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense, number 35. Targeting. 15-yard penalty automatic. First down. Second down and 10. Here comes Smith, sweeping to the left. Down the sideline he goes, crossing midfield. Yeah, exactly. Mickey had a fine major league career, and congratulations to Coach Frank Solich. Did a great job with that Ohio team in that upset of Penn State. Second down now. Here's a play action. Rolls a running back. Goes down side. Got Gardner wide open. Got him. Touchdown, Michigan. Devin Gardner. Converted from quarterback to wide receiver. And that play really showed you why. He's got some speed. T.J. Yeldon, the freshman, over 100 yards. Trying to get to the outside. And he's to the 32-yard line before Taylor comes up for the stop. going to be on ESPN. Second down. Fowler bangs for the first down. Stays in bounds. And makes his way to midfield. Here's number four right here. He checks in. There's the eye back behind Fowler. Fowler will lead the way now. And they're getting the corner on the Wolverine defense. Uh, they're, they're getting the corner because they're having so much success to the inside with their zone play. Fluker, Steen, Jones, Warmack, and Quanjo. Your offensive line from right to left for the tie. And Hart for another first down with his starter. Mandel putting from midfield. Try to hang this one inside the 10, and Gallon will fair catch it at about the seven or eight yard line. Play action from the end zone. Steps up in the pocket. Gallon goes up and grabs it for a big Michigan first down. They've really got Denard in the line kind of on their heels, not real sure about what's happening in pass protection, making it very tough to execute. Comes Hogger up again. He's had a very good game. Christian Jones runs up, gambles, got it, and there's a penalty flag. Kick catch interference. Kicking team, number 24. 15 yards from the start of the foul. First down, timeout. He was, he was already alongside him. Christian Jones actually moved up on that punt. There's the completion and underneath, and that's Johnson. One of the H-backs making his first appearance. <laughs> I think they got a little old school going tonight. <laughs> there is Fowler banging, crushing that defensive line, bringing the seconds off the clock. Goes to the end zone, incomplete, and his penalty, that was the freshman, Amari Cooper. Remember we showed D. Milner, the corner from Alabama, turn his head? Pass interference, defense, number eight, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. 
Here comes Fowler. Battling toward the end zone. Just short of it. This would have been a much better game two or three years down the road. Yeldon for his first touchdown. T.J. Yeldon. Daphne, Alabama with a 100-yard game. And now his first Bama touchdown. Still one of the most exciting players in college football. Rolling. Snaps it in. Oh, there's, there's our man, Roundtree. Roy Roundtree, making a catch here on the near sideline. It's a different feel completely with Denard Robinson and Toussaint in that backfield. But Snaps off another one, Herbert. I'm sorry. I'm down. No, go ahead. Somebody's going to have to step up on the perimeter. Some balance outside, which is where they were late in the year last year with Junior Hemingway. Underneath, giving it to him, and uh, that's a completion to Mike Kwiatkowski. So it's third down and three for the Wolverines. Robinson's in trouble. This time he will not get away. They try to tackle him. You know who the most famous alum of Kent State is in here tonight? I know you know the answer to this one. They're going to let this one go out on the end zone. He's right across the way. His name is Nick Saban. He's the coach, yeah. and he played for the great Don James. And when the final horn goes off, then he'll look no, up and say, what's the score? 41-42. No, no, we chuckle at his antics on the sideline, but let me tell you, he's the best in the business in the college no. game right now. Gallon driven back to the 25-yard line. Look out for the clip. There it comes. This is coming back. All for not. Oh, you could see that one coming from up here, couldn't you? So Bellamy is in at quarterback. Here's the young man from Arlington, Texas. High juggle diving interception. His first pass is picked off by one of the Alabama reserves. And I believe that that was that Dylan Lee who yep. did it, Herbie? Yeah. See if he can get off to a better start than Washington State and Mike Lee. That was oh, a yeah. tough one. So Ely hands the ball off, and they have emptied the bench. Kenyon Drake is that. He applauds. Good job as he turns There's around. The flag. Nice job. job. Heather's going to get a couple of chuckles out of Coach Saban, maybe. 41-14. There he is, Brady and Nick, good friends. A.J. McCarron, Heather Cox is on the pursuit. 